Let's go in depth in a multi-country example. Multi-countries means multi-currency, means multi-language. So all of these items must be covered when you want to roll out uh, Salesforce and document generation digital signature solutions in multiple countries. So what we're gonna show you here today is we're gonna start from a generic main document. So that's a document that can actually be used. It's the, uh, the, the main structure that you want to use. So it's a generic means that it's actually available for all countries. All countries will use the same document. Obviously, this is an example. If this does not fit your needs, you can just have a document per country as well, a per language. We're going to use translated labels, so that's one of the options that we uh, provide, and we're going to show you how to do that. And then, of course, well, uh, certain countries might say, well, we want to show data in a different way. We need to uh, add extra information. So certain countries might say, well, we want a different product table. We're going to show how a certain country can say we have a specific product table, and another country has another set of uh, tables or in uh, for the products. And then we are also going to show some terms and conditions, how you can set those per country. In the end, this is a demo and, uh, that shows a lot of opportunities and features. Uh, we try to bring best practices and uh, features to you, but in the end, you define your architecture. If this does not fit for you, if you say we don't want to use translated labels, we'd rather use custom labels or we'd rather use translated documents uh, for, for each country and each locale language, that's perfectly fine. All of that is possible, like I say. We provide solutions, features, best practices. You define your architecture and uh, you see how, your build, how the building blocks we provide actually fit your needs. Let's take a look at the document we are uh, going to work with. So in our document, you see that actually there is a couple of text labels. So we're going to use those labels and going to translate them for each country. Then we're going to uh, indicate that we want to show the opportunity lines for this country. So that means that uh, for England and for Germany, there are separate uh, documents that we can use. So separate sets of configuration that we can use. Obviously, if you want to have more countries, you can just add more countries. And then we have terms and conditions. These do not have logic, but obviously they are also dependent on the country you are in or the country you are selling to. So it uh, depends on how do you want to use it. Let's take a look. First of all, we need to translate our labels. You can translate the labels via the uh, custom labels of Salesforce, but also you can use what we call a static values data source. In the static values data source, you see that I have added the labels, and for each label, they have a value, and then, of course, a locale, a language uh, that we can work with. We can work with a locale. A locale is a combination of language and country, means that if you want to use German for Austria, for instance, perfectly possible. If you want to use French for Canada, French for France, and French for Belgium, perfectly possible. They can all have different translations. Obviously, you uh, for some countries or for some languages, you just say, well, we have one English, and then one English is only used. So both options are possible. You see that I have the same labels for each uh, language that we want to support. So uh, this is, of course, translated in German then. And then we want to show this via, via the locale. Um, I'm going to quickly go back to the document and you will see that each label that I want to use is actually here in the, uh, a field in my overview. When I look at the configuration, Obviously, I have to make config types for each um, config uh, for each merge field, and then in the merge field, I just use my data source for the translations. So that's one way of uh, doing it, uh, just using translations that we uh, that uh, that you can uh, fill in from uh, yeah directly in Salesforce with our label translations. Next up is we want to add also a document. Huh? Um, we want to add some documents per country. So we said that we have different configurations uh, for, these, uh, um, for these countries. And we're going to add templates, template.configs for this. This means that actually it's reusable templates. Uh, they might be reusable in multiple configurations. As you say, well, we have uh, a quote document and we have a contract document, but these can use the same templates. Perfectly possible. Let's take a look at these templates. 
The template uh, is a Word document. It starts from a Word document. And for instance, this is the English template that I want to create. And the, in the English template, they just say, well, I want to show the products in one row. And uh, we have also a German template. And in the German template, you, they might say, well, we want to show uh, for each product two rows. One row with the product quantity, unit price, total price. And then on a second row, we want to show the product description. So we have two rows and in, for German and uh, the English, just want to have it in one row. Perfectly possible if you say, well, we want multiple columns, multiple texts, other information. Well, you choose, obviously. So this is uh, what you can do and make difference for different countries. Okay, next to that, we also have in our document some terms. Well, some term, the terms are actually yeah, static text defined by our legal departments or the legal departments of the country we are selling from or selling in. So that depends on what's your setup. And in the terms, we also have a German term and an English term. Let's take a look at these documents. These are quite straightforward. There is nothing special in there. This is just text. There is no merge fields. If you want to have merge fields, obviously that's possible. Uh, it's the, uh, you define what uh, you want in those documents. And then there is also a German translation for this. So it's a German document. Again, these are reusable, reusable templates if you want to use them in uh, contracts and in, uh, in uh, quotes, different documents, perfectly possible. Let's take a look at the setup. In the setup, I have created um, doc configs for all of these uh, documents. So we have a doc config for our main uh, uh, document. We call that a, a main Word document. And we have doc configs for each template. So for instance, we have the terms. And in these terms, we say it's a template Word document. A template Word document is reusable. Let's take a look at the template Word document. In the template Word document, you see that we have added uh, actually two alternatives, one alternative for English and one alternative for German. There are no data sources here because there are no merge fields in this example, and there are no config types. Again, there are no merge fields in this example. So if we use an alternative, uh, that's a, uh, an indi indication of the country, the language, the uh, brand that you're selling to, if you want to, you can set that and choose them yourself. But if you use this alternative, then uh, PDF Butter will select the English one or the German one, depending on the configuration that you have made. And we will show you more in a minute. Next up is the uh, documents for the templates. On the te documents for the templates, we have a German one. And in the German one, I have used an, uh, a rows controller. Why? Because I want to actually copy multiple rows, uh, as I indicated before, for each, uh, um, for each product. So two rows for each product. So I have a rows controller there instead of a table row. And then I obviously have the, uh, uh, all of the, the uh, merge fields that I need and also my product description that I want to show. For the, um, for the English one, you see that I just used a table row and the same configuration. Again, now the English team, the German team can work uh, next to each other on their own templates and they don't have to work on one specific big template with all of the logic, if this, then that. Uh, uh, but they can just say, well, I'm going to work on my template and they will not interfere with what the, uh, the Germans are doing or the French or the Belgium, the, the, uh, the Dutch. Every country can have its own template. Cool. Let's see how it all fits together. It all fits together um, and by using these templates. So we obviously have the merge fields for the uh, translations. We have the merge fields to print out the account name, the account number. but the cool thing is the uh, the document V3 where we introduce our uh, our templates. So in this one, I have said if the alternative equals English, then I want to show this template, the English Opportunity Products template. If the uh, alternative equals DE, so for Germany, then I want to use the German Opportunity template. Opportunity Products template. 
Now, when uh, the terms per country, those are actually uh, just separate documents with standard text, here the system is going to be smart enough to take the document with the correct alternative immediately. So it will actually, we can actually only have one configuration and we say terms for all countries. So that's the terms and conditions that we have defined. Now, all the setup is done. Let's take a look how it actually fit, all fits together. I here have my uh, doc config, uh, sorry, my uh, opportunity, and that's where we're gonna start from. In the opportunity, I have a fields alter, uh, alternative field. So the alternative field will define if I wanna uh, generate the document for English. I have a field called locale. Um, how you define these fields, if it's formulas, if it's pick lists, if it's via flows, you decide, uh, but there is something that identifies this quote being for England, and I want it to have, to have everything in English. Or being for US, uh, but I want everything in English. Okay, so um, this is now set. We want everything in English. So if I generate the quote, it will actually say, I'm going to take all the labels in English, as you can see right here. I'm gonna take the um, the, doc, uh, the, uh, the overview of the doc configs, uh, sorry, of the uh, opportunity products in English. The uh, um, the locale or is set to uh, English US, so we show this in dollar sign. If it would be in English UK, obviously we show that in pounds. So uh, and then there are the English terms that are shown right here. Now. Let's say that we're going to create another account in another country. Let's, uh, for instance, Germany. And then um, because of the selection of our uh, sales rep or via automation, we actually say this is now going to be in German. And we also want to use the German alternative. Now, this alternative is managed by a formula field. Again, it's the, uh, the, the art of the possible. So we just show what is possible. You define the architecture, how you want to set it up. And the, uh, mer and the uh, formula field is actually set by this account. So here, I'm going to change the account size to DE. So now it's uh, German. If I refresh this page, <coughs> now my configuration, all my in the, all my configuration says, well, I want to, I want to generate it, the, everything for Germany in German. Let's uh, generate the document and you see that all of the translations uh, are used for Germany. The uh, uh, overview of the document of the products are the German uh, configuration because we have here the uh, product translations and last but not least we also now use the uh, terms and conditions for Germany. So this is actually an end-to-end -end example with multiple options on how you can really specify and make sure your template reuses as much as possible, but still gives openings for several countries to do their own specific items there, like their terms, like the, how they want to show the products, uh, their own specific logic, and how teams from these countries can now work in parallel on their specific templates, their specific reusable templates, and not uh, uh, interfere with uh, the same uh, generic template that uh, they all have to work with.